assalamu alaikum a substance which do not allow current to pass through is known as non conductor or insulator gases do not allow current to pass through them so they come under insulators but they can be made to allow current in certain circumstances when their pressure is reduced they start conducting current the conduction in a gas can be studied with the help of a device known as discharge tube discharge tubes are usually half a meter in length and 4 cm in diameter they are made of glass here i have a small discharge tube this kind of small discharge tubes are known as geyser tubes they are made of glass and completely sealed and filled with the pure gases here this end these two ends are called as electrode a terminal which is connected to positive of the induction coil is called as anode and the terminal which is connected to negative of the induction coil is known as cathode here i have four geyser tubes this one is filled with oxygen the second one is filled with nitrogen third one is filled with the hydrogen gas and the fourth one is completely empty it is evacuated i have one more tube with me which is provided with a pedal which is given a coating of fluorescent material i keep these things aside i'll pass current through them i'll show you how do they work let me show you an induction coil this device is known as induction coil it is used to produce a high voltage of the order of 10000 volt uh this device can produce 5 mm spark now uh these two ends i have connected these two ends to a power supply here you can see i have a power supply the ends of this power supply is connected to the primary of this induction coil then this is the secondary of the induction coil to which i have fixed two sharp uh, nails as you can see now i am going to pass around 6 volt current through this uh, induction coil I'll start. I switch on this. Then I turn on this power supply. So here you can observe the spark between the nails. So here, this spark is as a result of the ionization of. gas present in the surrounding now switch it off now i will connect the, the secondary of induction coil to the geyser tubes one by one and i'll show you how the gas present in the tube discharges or conducts electricity let as you can see i have connected the secondary of this induction coil to the geyser tube which is filled with oxygen gas now i am going to pass the current through it let's see what happen i switch on the power supply here you can see the gas present inside the tube glows it gives out white light and the ends cathode and anodes you may thought blue light for better visibility I, i will switch off the light now i hope it is visible to you
I have switched off the lamps. You can see it emits a light blue color light. Now I will replace the, this geyser tube with the, another geyser tube which is filled with the nitrogen gas. It is filled with the nitrogen gas. I will disconnect this now. Let's place, I connect it. I do the same thing to another end as well. I keep it aside. Here I have connected the geyser tube filled with the nitrogen gas to the secondary of the induction coil. Now I will pass current. I will show you how the gas discharges. I will switch off the lamp for better visibility. Now I have replaced this geyser tube with another tube filled with the hydrogen gas. This geyser tube is filled with hydrogen gas. I will pass current through this. I will show you how the discharge occurs through hydrogen gas. Now I will pass current. Here the light is the light emitted is very hard to visible. Here I replace uh, this geyser tube filled with hydrogen gas with another tube which is uh, evacuated from uh, inside. It has nothing inside. I pass uh, current. I switch off lamp for better visibility. Here you can observe no light is emitted. This shows that no discharge occur in this tube as it has nothing inside. Here I have a specially designed discharge tube which is provided with a pedal whose leaves are given a coating of fluorescent material. Now I will connect to the secondary coil of the induction coil. Now, I will supply current. Look at this carefully what happened. You can observe the pedals emit out green light. It is due to fluorescence and they start rotating. This shows that the invisible particles which are emitted out from the electrodes have kinetic energy and the momentum, the process momentum. As a result, it starts rotating. Now I will uh, switch off the lamp for better visibility. You can see how beautifully they appear. Due to fluorescence, the green light is emitted out. The invisible rays emitted out here are called as cathode rays.